that you need your scratch paper, follow along in the go with the GoMath video. You guys are looking very good. Oh, hey, I was doing some gardening here with some of uh, my flower friends. This is a little teeny, teeny garden, which actually reminds me of some of my other friends, my human friends, that actually have little teeny gardens of themselves in a park. In fact, it reminds me of a great riddle that involves math. <laughs> Who would have guessed it? Let's check it out for ourselves and see if we could have some fun thinking about gardening and math. Now, there are six rectangular flower gardens, each measuring 18 feet by 15 feet in a rectangular city park, measuring 80 feet by 150 feet. Question for us is, how many square feet of the park are not used for flower gardens? Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look. Here's the entirety of the park. You can see it right here, and you can see it's 80 feet by 150 feet, and it's a rectangle. And then you can see these little teeny six rectangular plots where six of my friends actually have their little teeny uh, garden beds. And each one of these uh, rectangular plots, in fact, is 18 feet by 15 feet. And the question for us is to figure out um, how much of the park is not being used by those uh, six gardens. So what we want to do is basically find find the area of this region right here, which I was really hoping was going to be actually green to make it look really pretty. But instead what I'll do is I'll do it like this. And let's see if I can make it look like this now. And so this. So here's the rest of the, the rest of the, ooh, that's kind of pretty. That's the rest of the park, and I want to know what the area of that is. Well, how can we find the area of a shape that's kind of peculiar? Well, if we see that the area, if we see that the shape itself is actually composed of taking a familiar shape, and just removing some familiar shapes, then in fact we could actually find the area of the, the park that's not in fact the, the flower gardens by just subtracting. So here's the method. Let's find the area of the entire park, which is a rectangle, and then let's find the area of each of the, the garden beds, and then actually take the big area and subtract off that little teeny area. And that'll give us the answer. Okay, so let's start off with the with the big area. So the entire park. So what is the area of the entire park? Well, of course, the area of any rectangle is length times width. That's always the case. So the question is, what is the length? What is the width? So let's take a look and see if we can figure this out for ourselves. So the uh, length is going to be 150 feet. I'm not going to write the units right now. And then the width is going to be 80. And so the area for the entire park is going to be 150 times 80. And if you multiply that out, you see 12,000. And now I'll put in the units. It's 12,000 square feet. Or I'll write them as feet squared. OK, so that is the area of the entire park. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, let's see if we can find the area of all those uh, flower gardens. The way we're going to do it is, since each one, in fact, is itself a rectangle, let's find the area of just one flower garden and then figure out how to find the area of all of them together. So now let's figure out, first of all, the area of just each flower garden on its own. So each flower garden. Well, that's a little teeny rectangle, so we use the exact same uh, formula. Of course, now, of course, when we use the formula, we have to uh, use red because we're looking at these flower gardens. Okay, so now how do we go about this? Well, the uh, length here, you can see right here, is 18. And the width is 15. And so again, using the equation, we see that area equals length times width, or in this case, 18 times 15, which is 270. And these are units feet squared again. So there is that. Well, that is great. 
That is great. But we're not done. Because that's just the area for each flower garden. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So to find the area of this whole shape, we need to multiply this answer by six. And so if we do that, what we see is uh, 270 times six which equals 1,620, and again, that's feet squared. And that actually represents the area of all the flower gardens together. And so if we now subtract, we take the area of the entire park, which we saw was 12,000. And we subtract off 1,620, which is this area right here, then that difference that difference, which is 10,380 feet squared, represents, in fact, the area of the green. So the area of the green, or the area of the park that's not used for the flower gardens, in fact, whoopsie-daisy, I cannot win today, is, in fact, 10,380 square feet. So the interesting thing here is to realize that, in fact, if you're trying to find the area of a strange shape, that you don't have a formula for, you might be able to express that shape as a familiar shape minus another familiar shape. And if you can do that, then find the area of the familiar shape, find the area of the tiny familiar shape, make it into the big familiar shape, and then subtract, and that difference will be the area of the funny shape region. Look how far we've come. We've seen formulas and equations that give us the area for very specific shapes, but now we can see we can find areas for all sorts of very, very unusual shapes by either adding or subtracting uh, different areas together and finding those formulas. Have fun looking at the peculiar shapes in your life and finding their areas, and I'll see you soon.